Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another video. I'm sort of just sort of going through, I'm, I'm, I'm in a little bit of a Clone Wars kick at the moment, alright? So, <laughs> in sort of trying to rearrange the shelf a little bit, sort of pulling figures off, and I thought, I'm going to do a video on all the Jedi. Now, there are a couple of older versions of some characters I don't have in my collection. There was a an older version of Mace Windu and an older version of Kit Fisto um, that came out quite early. They since they later got updates, um, and there are probably a couple of versions that came with vehicles. Uh, for example, this Obi Wan and Anakin here um, did come with uh, articulated legs and soft goods at the base. So I think Anakin came with a cancel, um, the little flying mosquito bug thing, and Obi-Wan was with a speeder, I believe. Um, and yeah, I think for the most part, I've got most of them, so I thought we'd just go through them and take a look. Because um, to this day, the Clone Wars is still one of the best action figure lines that Hasbro has done, period. Um, I would give up a lot for Hasbro to go and flesh out that line even more with even more characters. There's so many, so many they missed over the years that uh, would benefit from, you know, just, just having a solid action figure line. Um, but yeah, we'll start off at the front here with these three. It's, it's our main heroes, of course. I'm just going to lower that lighting a little bit. There we go. And the uh, wires are playing playing funny buggers with me. So, so yeah, this Anakin was the very first Clone Wars figure I got. It holds up pretty well. Nice, nice looking, nice looking figure. Articulation's not quite there. Um, but it was all about the aesthetic, and uh, at the time, it was just really, really cool to have, you know, an Anakin Skywalker outside of the films. Um, it took me a little while to come around to the animated stuff. Like, I, it took me a little bit. Um, but yeah, I've, I've been a diehard fan for a long time, so <laughs> here I am. So, we got Ahsoka. She came with uh, Rotter the Hutlet. So I might actually just sort of pick them off and take them, take a look one by one before I put them down. And I'll just move them, move them around a little bit. Obi Wan Kenobi. Now he came with a switch out clone trooper he helmet. Which is cool. And again, Anakin. And then these two were my next figures that I got. I can't remember what order I got everything after this, but um, yeah, so my, the first three I bought on the same day were the basic Anakin, this Anakin here, so cold weather gear. This was from their mission to Auto Plutonia. Um, but it's a cool figure. I liked it. I liked the... Uh, the goggles can come and sit over his eyes. Again, it was just... This took me back to sort of Power of the Force days where you had different characters in different sort of style outfits. And uh, especially like the uh, Jedi symbol on the uh, top of the coat there. It was just a cool looking outfit. Like the sort of Force push hand. Which is cool as well. I do like this figure a lot. The next one I got was, of course, his counterpart, Obi-Wan Kenobi. And he does have some goggles. I must have them in my accessory box. So, yeah, you can remove that hood. Oh, no, there are the goggles. They were just sitting in, in his hat. <laughs> so that's where they're going to stay, because I know that they're safely in there. So, yeah, he got some cold weather goggles, too. Again, cool looking outfit. Pop that back on his head quickly. There we go. So yeah, then we started getting 
some different versions of characters. Um, so here we've got three main characters in their sort of zero gravity space outfits and the helmets are comically <laughs> what they do to the figure is hilarious so the helmets do come off they're a little bit tight um, especially it's hard to do with one hand so I'm not going to do it but there is a soaker yeah, sort of space outfit with helmet so it's kind of cool and we have Anakin which is for most part is the is a better version of the standard Anakin because he's super articulated all over and uh, yeah just just a little bit and bit of a nicer version of the figure so a cool one for sure bonus that he comes with the jetpack and, uh, and the uh, fishbowl not sure I like the head as much but um yeah, a nice figure. Then we had two figures based on a comic series which featured Kit Fisto and Plo Koon in the cold weather. And I completely missed out on that Obi-Wan, but I'll get to it in a sec. So cold weather, these two came with some accessories. They come with um, some like spike boots that you'd wear in the snow. I don't know what to call them. I don't live anywhere near snow, so I don't even know what they're called. So again, they're sort of going with the Jedi emblem on the coat. His goggles came down, which is awesome. But yeah, really cool, really cool figure. I like the sort of wraps on the legs. The sort of purple tones of the uh, Jedi uniform. So I like him a lot. And Plo Koon, of course, my favorite Jedi. He did come with another mask that sort of went on over the top it was almost clone inspired um but yeah i don't think play needs it. i like him with his mask as he is i think it's fantastic he too came with the uh with the snow grip boots pretty sure the anakin and the obi-wan did too for that matter now that i'm thinking about it but yeah you can't use the pegs so um They went away. But yeah, I like this outfit a lot. Alright, so now I'll get on to Space Obi-Wan. Now I like this outfit a lot because it's very sort of reminiscent of uh, sort of Macquarie's, Ralph Macquarie's original artwork, just in the style. Um, and of course, the lightsaber sort of mechanism there on the hip so you can hold his hilt so it snaps into that sort of thing that was uh, very much part of Macquarie's designs and yeah just the colors are great on it I like the creams and the reds Let's see if I can get his helmet off quickly and uh, yeah pretty good head sculpt Took me a long time to find this one. Took me to go to going across the world, across the world to celebration in Chicago a couple years ago. Focus. There we go. But yeah, glad to finally have him in the collection as well. A really nice figure. So we get Scuba Ahsoka as well. This one was sort of out of left field when it was announced, but uh, it's a nice looking figure. It looks good. We didn't get any sort of counterparts to go with it, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I think the head sculpt underneath the mask is probably one of the best ones. Better than the uh, actual Ahsoka Ahsoka that I'm about to show you. But uh, yeah, I really like the head sculpt. Just the uh, green on the top there should be more of a sort of goldish color, but um, it works. But yeah, really nice figure. She comes with flippers, <laughs> which is cool. So yeah, onto Ahsoka. So this is probably what become one of the rarer ones when people are paying, you know, just with Ahsoka's popularity over the last few years, it's uh, it's become a pretty highly sought after figure. 
it is a good one. I like it a lot. I would love to see a Black Series 6 inch version of Ahsoka in this outfit. I probably spent the most time with Ahsoka while she was wearing this outfit. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't. Would like a season one Ahsoka 2, the one I showed you earlier. Because that would be cool in Black Series, considering we've just gotten the uh, Anakin and Obi one. Based on their early Clone Wars appearances, so. I do like the dual blades. Really nicely done figure. I like that one a lot. So here we have Anakin in sort of Naboo pilot outfit disguise. Um, I don't have the helmet for him. He came with a sort of mini, mini vehicle sort of Naboo speeder sort of thing. But uh, yeah, it's a cool version of Anakin. I picked this one up cheap from a, from somewhere. It was a toy fair or something. I can't remember exactly where I picked this one up from. But uh, yeah, it was a nice, nice figure to get. I just like the outfit. I think it looks cool. But yeah, if I can one day I track down the helmet, that'd be great too. All right, let's get into some more Jedi, hey? We've got sort of most of the main characters out of the way. So here we have... Completely blanking on his name. <laughs> Nadaveb. Thank you very much. I did remember. Uh, Kit Fisto's former apprentice. Turned Jedi Knight. Lost his life in a fight with General Grievous. Started getting a little bit cocky with his abilities. But damn, is this a cool action figure. Really, really nice. Back in the day when Hasbro used to do just figures of minor characters, and uh, yeah, he wasn't a minor character in the episode, but in the Clone Wars as a whole, yeah, I'd say he's probably a minor character, but uh, yeah, it was that Lair of Grievous from season one or two, one, I think. Great episode, go back and rewatch that one. A really good episode. Plenty of Kit Fisto in it as well. So another Daveb. Let's look at Kit Fisto while we're talking about him. So again, there was another version of this this guy put out earlier, but uh, yeah, this one is by far the better version of Kit. He's got his trademark trademark smile. Yeah, really nice. Really love this figure a lot. Now I've done reviews of these, <laughs> probably 99% of these over the years. Um, yeah, you would have to dig pretty deep into my channel to find them, the very early days. But yeah, I would have done some pretty low res reviews <laughs> back in the day, so you can go and check all them out if you really want to go back that far. Now we'll talk about a pair of awesome awesome female characters here. Barriss Offie, of course, we know what happened to her in the Clone Wars. She lost her way with the Jedi Order. And uh, she didn't turn, she didn't become a Sith, but she certainly turned, turned against the Jedi Order and uh, tried to sabotage Ahsoka, framed her for a bombing at the Jedi Temple. But uh, yeah, this is a uh, slightly younger, more innocent Barris. Really nice figure. It's sort of the sort of soft goods here. It's almost a uh, I don't know. It's hard to describe. It's like a it's almost suede look. But yeah, that one's a that one's a nice one. Doesn't have the articulated elbows, but uh, you know, it's pretty sort of skinny arms, so you can kind of forgive that. But yeah, really nicely detailed face sculpt and the outfit all over is great. And then we'll look straight onto her master, Luminara Unduli. Another fantastic figure. Yeah, 
Again, she's got some soft goods. Really small hands that don't fit the lightsaber very well. Very small pegs. She doesn't sit on stands all that well, but um, it's a good looking figure. I like her outfit. I like the sort of headdress. I think that's great. Awesome. Evan Peel. Another awesome little dude. He was in the Citadel arc from season three or four. I think it's season four. Gee, you can find those episodes called The Citadel. Great bunch of episodes. I think there was four in that arc. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's season four. Yeah, this is a great figure. Awesome sculpt on this one. Awesome diminutive little little guy, but he's uh he kicked ass to the very end. Awesome stuff. Next one is Shark T. Still one of the most amazing figures Hasbro's done. I just I love this a lot. I think it's fantastic. The uh, Montrols on the head sculpt coming all the way down the front. Uh, it's just amazing. The outfit is fantastic. Sort of Montreal head tail on the back is brilliant. Soft goods, awesome. Lightsaber falls out of her hands quite a lot. But uh, yeah, really nice. Really nice figure. One of my favourites, one of my favourite Clone Wars figures, to be honest, based on that head sculpt alone, CC Teen. And he was seen in the battle on the escape from the Citadel at the end of that arc. He sort of helped in the uh, space overhead mission to sort of help them get off the planet. Yeah, I like the uh, dark sort of brown robes. His head sculpt is just awesome. The pattern on the top of his head there. Just fantastic. I love it. Great looking figure. Alice Cura. This one got really, really pricey for a while. Um, and she did get a re-release at some point in the Movie Heroes, I think, back in 2012. But uh, yeah, she went for big money for a while just because it was uh, yeah, it was kind of short run and uh, she was quite popular. But she had an awesome figure. She didn't get a lot of episode time in the, in the Clone Wars, but there was enough. It's a great episode. I think it was Jedi Crash. With uh, with Anakin, I think it was that episode. There's one another one of my favourites is Eeth Koth. Another great Jedi character. I like the sort of long, sort of flowing soft goods on this one. Just a different look to the rest with the sort of sort of short robes. But yeah, another really nice, really nice looking head sculpt as well. Love that figure. Really, really cool. So here we have season two, uh, season three to six Anakin. Three, three, four, five, six. Now there were two versions. There was this version as well that came out. I've gone through a couple of phases where I prefer the left to the right, but um. Yeah, sometimes I like the one on the left more, sometimes I like the one on the right. But uh, they're both cool. I do think this one's probably more accurate. But 
Gee, that's a nice, nice Anakin figure. I like that one a lot. Obi Wan from his sort of season three to six. He sort of shed most of his armor. Still has most of the armor, armor there. Head sculpt is pretty much nailed it in terms of accuracy with the animation. There was one, another one that sort of came out of six months beforehand that sort of came with this Anakin. Um, but yeah, they, they went back to the drawing board on those two figures and uh, fixed them up and made them look even better. So uh, I was glad to, glad to update those ones. But yeah, that Obi-Wan, the previous Obi-Wan to this one, I uh, didn't hang on to. So down to the last few, we have Mace Windu. Great figure, super articulated. He has the ball hinged hips. He's got the soft goods. Again, the other one had more armor. He had a uh, chest piece that went over and a helmet. But yeah, really nice. Head sculpt on Mace. Really cool figure, I like him a lot. Kiadi Mundi, oh conehead. Not a bad figure. Don't mind this one. I think the the main drawback on this one is the lack of ball jointed ankles, which some of these do suffer from. Say, so Teen uh, Anakin doesn't have them. That Anakin doesn't have them. It was sort of a bit sporadic with some of the articulation on these figures, but uh, I do like Kiadi Mundi's outfit. Always like the outer uh, hood sort of with a sleeveless robe. I think that's cool. All right, we're going to finish up with, funnily enough, my two favorites. A Plo Koon. There was another version of this one. I've sort of kit bashed this one a little bit. Um, so the bottom half with the soft goods and the, the legs um, comes from the speeder bike one. And the top half comes from the sort of standard Plo Koon that came with... Zero articulation in his legs, um, didn't have the soft goods, and yeah, just wasn't all that poseable, and I wanted a super poseable one. Um, but when I got that other, the other super poseable one with the bike, um, the sort of upper robes and stuff weren't a great colour. So I just switched out the entire top half of the figure. And uh, I think, I, I believe I kept the head from, from the speeder bike one because that was slightly better than the uh, standard release. So I just wanted to have a nice definitive Clone Wars Plo Koon. So that's what I have here. And uh, yeah, he's brilliant. And last but not least, we have Quinlan Voss. Probably one of my favorites with Plo Koon. He's one of, probably one of my favorite Jedi, one of my favorite characters of all time. Um, yeah, big fan of Quinlan Voss. Love this figure a lot. He came with a hoverboard, which was badass. <laughs> Even though we never used one in the show, but um, yeah, if you go to the season two episode, it was season one or two, Hunt for Zero, um, that's the one that features Quinlan Voss. And uh, check out Dark Disciple, great book featuring Quinlan Voss and Asajj Ventress. I can't recommend that book enough. It was based on eight episodes of unreleased Clone Wars um, which <laughs> I would love to see now because it would have been a incredible eight episodes but yeah that, that, there we go guys that's uh, my Clone Wars Jedi thank you very much for hanging around for this video I know it's been a little bit of a long one but uh, yeah again I hope you've enjoyed it thanks for sticking around if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do Hit the thumbs up and uh, before I finish I forgot about Yoda I left him on the ground <laughs> so we'll finish up with Yoda and there was another Yoda that came with like a blast effect so awesome all right guys I'm really going this time so thank you very much for watching till my next video may the force be with you always <laughs>